Hello guys, and welcome you to Vimes Projects Limited, where we design and build classic homes. I welcome you back to site. Today is episode four on RAF Foundation. The last episode, which is episode three, we focused more on the RAF formwork and the RAF beam casting. So today we'll be filling up the RAF beams. We'll fill it up, we water it, we compact it, and we you know keep going. So today will be the end of the episode for RAS Foundation. So I want you guys to stay glue. Don't leave the channel. Just follow us so that you will understand the process that we take to achieve a RAS Foundation here in Nigeria. So today uh, on the filling, we actually did about 20 trips of uh, laterites on this foundation. Because of the high level foundation that we have, you know, so we intend to, you know, make sure that this will help us to uh, avoid flooding in this uh, side so by having this high foundation you know it, it gave us all the things that we need there so that makes sense for us so now another major thing for us is watering of this filling now the watering is very important because if it's not properly done you know the building won't be stable and the compaction will not you know be effective as it should so we make sure that we take uh, watering very important you know by you know getting to all the sections of the filling to make sure we water it very well and also overwatering is also a big challenge because when you overwater it will lose its strength it will lose its strength and stability too when you put less of the water it's also a challenge on its own too because it affects your compaction so on the watering we have you know successfully done that and now before we compact we always leave it for about at least six hours to about 24 hours then we'll come back to do our compaction so the compaction we have our compacting machine that we use to compact it so that you know we avoid air pockets and air voids you know that might you know work as a result of that not uh, compacting it so by doing that we achieve excellence in that too so after the compaction the next phase of work which is the dpm the damp proof membrane this is very important to you know control the moisture that comes you know and also the dampness that come within so most times you see some houses you see the walls and the floors you know they they have damp you know so we always try as much as possible to prevent that from this stage you know so by having this uh, uh membrane over the the soil that we have it will prevent the water from coming up you know so when it prevents it, by the time we do our oversight concrete you achieve excellence so even after construction you won't have you know that damp you see on the walls so also this also it's also a part of a uh, thing that we considered and we did excellent in that so after that the i also told you guys that on the raft beam we left a portion and the reason we left that portion is to you know raft beams and raft foundation cannot be complete without having a mat that will you know connect with those raft beams so that connection we form a marriage between the raft beams and the floor so at the end of the day the whole foundation is intact so now the iron benders are saddled up with the responsibility of you know binding up these wrap beams on the floor by using the 10 mm reinforcement uh, rods recommended by the structural engineer so we'll use that to create this pattern that you are seeing so by doing that we connect it so after the connection the mechanical engineers can come in and place their pipes where they are supposed to place it we we'll do our form work and possibly do the oversight concrete so by so doing we have achieved excellence in this uh, raft foundation so i want to appreciate you guys for being there with us by following us from the episode one episode two episode three and now the episode four and the final completion of the raft foundation i hope uh, you learned one or two and the places that we didn't do well you can also on the comment section tell us what and what that we should do to improve our services and we appreciate you guys so much god bless you